Hey guys, it's Killer Kill 360 back with another one. And yeah, I want to retcon some things. In the last episode, I meant to say, um, I want to conquer the seas, and Luffy wants to be the king of the pirates. I forgot to edit that part out, so please forgive me. But yeah, this is gonna be part two of What If I Was in One Piece. So yeah, let's get started. So when we last left off was me, Nami was talking and I asked her out. She's like, yes, I date you. And me and Nami hit it off. So Zoro and Luffy comes back and they're like, who's the orange hair girl? She's kind of cute. I'm like, this is my girlfriend. Her name is Nami. Nami, this is Luffy and Zoro. And when she hears that, she's like, wait, Zoro, Luffy... Pirate Hunter Zoro and Luffy, I heard about you. You're pretty strong. Uh, so a lot of rumors are talking about you. Yeah. Me, my brother's stronger than me, though. Like, way stronger than me. Huh, really? Um, yeah. I got I was trained by Red Hair Shanks. And Nami's like, what? You got trained by Red Hair Shanks? Wow. So you are pretty strong. Yeah, so I um break it down to Luffy and Zoro. Um, after we get a couple of crewmates, we should take down Erlong. Luffy's like, yeah, that bastard needs to die. I can't believe he did that to her. Nah, we gotta put him down, says Zoro. Thanks, guys. You know, so we, I'm like, yo, I'm not... If I'm not mistaken, um, Yapsa's son island where he lives on is not too far from here. Yeah, you're right. And there's a rumor going around he called himself Death the Kid. Why? Because they say you hear his guns, you're dead. <coughs> whoa. I say, whoa, that sounds intense. Let's go pay him a visit then. No problem, let's go. Nami, you know where that island at? She's like, yeah, I can get y'all guys there, no problem. So, um, we uh, let's just say a day pass and we get to where Usopp is, AAK, Death the Kid. And I'm like, I intent, I, I feel intense observation hockey watching us. So be on your guard. It might be Usopp. Well, his father has incredible observation hockey. Says me, because I train with him. So, Zoro's like, yeah, I feel that too. Nami's like, what are you guys talking about? Well, after we done, I'm going to have to train you to get you stronger, Nami. You can't come to the, the red line with us being like this. Not at all. So, I hop down the ship, and I use my, my um, future sight to see... Let's say a minute into the future for now. I'm like, oh, so he uses two pistols. And he shoots it. I dodged the bullet. And the bullet almost like hit Nami, but I put my antimatter, um, delete magic. Well, not delete magic, but delete my dope my del fruit is like space deletion. Like I have a power over space. So I delete the bullet. I'm like, whoa, that was too, too close for comfort. Nami's like, you damn right. That shit almost hit my head. Sorry, Nami. Just stayed in the back until I tell you it was safe to come out. She's like, you don't have to tell me twice. So I'm like, huh. Flying Rajin. I threw my blade, and I threw it where Usopp was at. He's like, god damn it, he almost hit me with that. Whew, that was close. As soon as he says that was, I'm like, that was close, right? And I scared the heebie-jeebies out of him. He like, what? I didn't even see him move from the spot. And I have observation hockey. How can you be that fast? Well, my devil fruit, let's just say it's overpowered. Overpower is an understatement. Anyway, I know who you are. You're Death to Kid, a.k.a. Usopp. And I know your father, Yasop. So, I want you to join my crew, me and Luffy. Oh, yeah, my dad told me about y'all, too. 
No problem. I'll join y'all. Y'all seem like pretty cool people anyway. Yeah, and I like your skills as a sniper. I only want the best on our crew. Well, you ain't gotta look far. I'm the best sniper there is next to my dad. So, that happens. And I'm like, yo, is anything good to eat? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna take you to the restaurant. It's not too far from here. So, let's just say everything happens to Cannon. We beat the absolute crap out of the cat, the um cat pirates. They get absolutely curb stomped. Like, it's not even a, a problem for us. And um we go back to where um Kaya is laying down and she's sick, you know? I'm like, I think I can help you out with this sickness. It's not even a sick a sickness. It's a curse. A curse? How can you tell it's a curse? Well, when you be out in the sea, you see some shit. I'm like, delete this curse. And I delete the curse. Huh. But how you know it was a curse? Well, you. I wanted to tell you I got something. You know the great pirate Roger, right? It makes no sense for him to get so sick if he's so strong. Right? Like, you think he'd be in his prime. And... Yeah, for him to be so sick, is it didn't make sense to me. But then I thought about it. If What if it was a curse instead of a sickness? And everybody's like, you kind of right about that. Because he was the strongest pirate there ever was. And he should have, his body should be in fit shape. Should be able to fight off diseases. Huh. I s never thought about that, Kelia. Yeah, that's why I'm. That's why I was like, my devil fruit has a unique feature about it. Where if you have a curse on you, I can erase it. They like what? That's that's absolutely insane. That devil fruit is is way too strong. Yeah, I know, but I see why Shanks wanted to train you now. Says um Nami, Luffy, and um Zoro. Yeah, and he told me to watch out for this guy called Blackbeard. He's a devil fruit hunter. Huh, really? Says Luffy. I'm like, yeah, and he might come after our devil fruits, me and you. So, me and you have to be very careful around him. He gave Shanks a scar on his eye. What? No way. But Shanks is like one of the strongest people in the world. Yeah, but he scarred him, and it still aches to this day. That's what he told me. So, yeah, we have to be very careful around Blackbeard. But sorry for going on a tangent, guys. I didn't mean to bring that up, but yeah. The, um, Kayan's like, I don't care, but thank you so much for getting rid of this curse. I feel so much better now. I'm like, no problem. You a friend of mine's? So, I'm going to make sure you're okay. And she smiles. Um, Usopp is a little jelly, but he, like, he saved her, so he's happy. In his head, so he's not mad. He's just like, wow. That's pretty insane that that devil fruit can do that. That's, it reminds me of another devil fruit that's going on in the black market, says Nami. Because, you know, Nami be, been around. She's like, it's like the Appa Appa fruit. Yeah, ain't that's the one that you can, like, you'll become a type of, like, a surgeon or something, and it's worth five billion, ber five billion berries? That's what I say. She's like, yeah. Huh, I wonder how, mine's, how much will mine's will be. Well, Nami's like, if it can get rid of curses and diseases, your, sh your devil fruit's pretty valuable, and you can teleport and all crazy stuff. So, yeah, I think it'd be worth around 10 billion berries. I'm like, damn, that's a lot. Oh, no, only too bad you ate it, though. That's why Shanks was mad at me. <laughs> he was going to sell it, that bastard. <laughs> well, I'm glad I ate it before he um sold it. Now, I'm, I feel like I have to master this devil fruit. So, yeah, um... That happens, 
And I'm like, yo, you know anywhere that we can get a ship that's, you know, big enough for at least 10 members? Yeah, I just, I, I was just, um, one of my people was just working on a ship. And she shows us the ship, and Luffy's like, the Golden Mary. That's what I want to call it, the Golden Mary. Well, it's y'all guys now. Y'all can do what y'all want with it. I just, this is my thanks for getting me, making me feel better. Thank you. We take the ship. We say bye. And I put the island underneath our protection so other pirates don't attack it. So, we head off. I said, what a nice, some nice people they were. Yep. Um... Sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, let's get back into the story. I probably know my name now, but other than that, let's get back to the story. <laughs> so I say they nice people and stuff, right? And um, I'm like, yo, we need a chef. Says me. Luffy's like, you're absolutely right. And um, Usopp is like, it's this restaurant called the Brachier. They have the world's renowned cooks on there. So I'm like, yo, Nami, we. Can you take us to the Bratier? She like, yeah, no problem. We get to the Bratier, you know, and it's this guy with orange hair. And his his tag on his name on his um servant name for um food, the reach was is Ichigo Kurosaki. I'm like, Ichigo Kurosaki, huh? Interesting. And he sees Nami, he runs up to Nami. He's like, you're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, uh, Nami's like, okay, thank you. I take the compliment. But I just put my tape, my, my foot on the table like, boom. I'm like, <clears throat> sir, you know, you should be hitting on other people's girlfriend. It's like, oh, my bad. I didn't know y'all two was dating. Um, jackass, if you think... If you put two to two together, it's a restaurant, right? Anyway, me and him sort of on a bad foot. Nami's like, yo, don't be an asshole. I'm like, well, he shouldn't have been one first. It's not his fault. We didn't know we was dating. We could have been related. You know, you never know. For God's sakes, just go talk to him and apologize. I'm like, mm, I don't want to. So then she looks at me. I'm like, all right, Nami, all right, all right. I go back. I go talk to him. So she's like, thank you. And I'm like, yo, bro, I think we just started off on the wrong foot. And my bad. And I see that he gave somebody food that was starving. He gave them food. I'm like, you know what? He's not that bad. So I talk to him. He's like, nah, I don't want to join a crew right now. I want to pay my debt to you know, his old man that's in the um, restaurant. That's not his father, but he looks up to him like that. So, I'm like, damn. What he did say, I, I do have one dream, though. I want to find the East Blue. And I said, you come with us, you're guaranteed to find the East Blue. Because we have high, all of us have high ambition. Huh, really? What's your ambition, then? I want to be the conqueror of the all, all the oceans. I want to be the person that rules with an iron fist and helps people that need help and kick out all the bad people that's there. Huh. And I want to take down the world government. And he looks at me like, whoa, you got such ambition. And what does your brother want to do? He wants to be the king of the pirates. And I'm going to make sure he gets there. So he's like, wow, all y'all got sense and ambitions. What about the moss head over there? He wants to be the ultimate swordsman. No, he wants to be the strongest swordsman in the world. Nobody can beat him. So that's his ambition. And your girlfriend, she wants to make the map of the whole world. And I'll make sure she gets there. So we're like, Wow, all y'all got such ambition and willpower. I'm like, that's why we need somebody like you and our crew. Because I see what you did for that guy that needed food. And I really respect that. 
So, would you join our crew? Well, since you talked to me like that and broke it down for me, yeah, I'll join you. So, and yeah, another thing, Kiyoya, I'm not from this dimension. I came from a different dimension. Way different from yours. I don't know how I got here, but for some reason, I can't go back. I still have my powers. It's just, I can't go back to my dimension. So, I said, you know what? I'm going to start a new life and become a chef. So, I'm like, I'm scratching my head like, different dimension theory is true. He's like, yup. And my powers, I am a soul reaper. Soul Reaper name Ichigo Kurosaki. Bankai Tensa Sun Gets. And you say your monster head friend wants to be the strongest swordsman. Well, just don't tell him. I'm like one of the strongest people on this planet. Huh, really? Your mind showing me that power of yours. And yeah, because it's a douchebag that's coming right now. And I inquired these new abilities. You might just say they're called hockey. And I have observation hockey, conquerors hockey, and armament hockey. So, you know about the hockey. I have all three as well. Huh, interesting. So, we both use Future Sight and we see the douchebag that comes. And she goes like, I got this. And Zoro walks next to me. He's like, what's going on? Um, I think we about to have a new powerful crewmate. And he's an expert swordsman. He might be able to teach you some things. Really? Well, I doubt it. And then, <clears throat> you just go, it's like, so this is what you do after I give you food, huh? You come back and betray me. I'm sorry, it's my boss. I can't go against my boss, you know? It is what it is. <sighs> okay. So Ichigo transforms into his Soul Reaper white body. And everybody's like, what the hell? Ah. Tensor Sun gets. It's time to destroy this fool. Bankai. And the fight is over before it even began. Me. Luffy and Zoro, so he absolutely eviscerate him, and then you just hear, hear a huge sling, and he's like, somebody counted my gets a potential, I can't believe it, so somebody does have spiritual pressure on his island, and his whole planet, it does exist, but only a certain few can get it, and this one has tons of spiritual pressure. And I'm like, spiritual pressure, what the hell is he talking about? And then, Miha comes and he's like, who did that big concussive air blast? Was it you, orange haired brat? Yeah, it was me. And who are you? Huh, you don't know who I am. I'm the greatest swordsman that ever existed. Nihawk. Huh. Well, let's put it to the test. You want a duel? And then Zoro cuts in. He's like, wait, if anybody's going to fight the greatest swordsman, it's me. And um, Ichigo's like, huh, let's make a proposal. Let's make it a three-way battle. And you, Are you in the greatest swordsman in the world? Huh, I'll play along with y'all. Let's go. And the clashes between all three of them is absolutely insane. And I'm just looking in the back like, huh, there are some monsters, but Zoro is lacking. He has a long way to go between them two. It's really just between um, Nihawk and um, Ichigo. Like, it's a stalemate between the two. He's like, I can't believe there's somebody that can actually battle me. Well, I'm a little rusty. I've been on this planet for too long, he says in his head. And I've been getting weaker, but I'm still like the strongest person here. So Zoro still um um Ichigo backs off. He's like, you know what? This is getting kinda out of hand. I'll let y'all two fight. And Zoro still loses to um Nihawk. But Nihawk 
wants both of them to get strong so he could fight them again. And um, Zoro vows to never lose again. And yeah. Then Zoro gets surrounded in his blue aura. And it's the will of the Ashura. We gonna cut to Zoro Monsky. Well, Zoro, I have chosen you to take my will. And this new power will give you a hundred times boost to your abilities. And you will have Ultra Battle Instinct. Huh, that sounds interesting, says Zoro. And you will have Minor Regeneration. Oh, that could really help me. That's so good. What are the drawbacks, says Zoro? You are extremely acceptable to fire-based attacks. Okay, okay, okay. That sounds not too bad. Um, can I still swim and stuff like that? Yeah. So, as soon as the aura came, as soon as it left. And I'm like, I could sense that you got a lot stronger. I don't know what that was. Then Azura explains to me it's the Ashra spirit, and I was chosen by it. He wants me to reach my ambition, so I got to do it. Either way, I was going to do it, but I really got to do it now. Then a few minutes pass, and then I get this terrible backlash from a bad event that happened in the past. I happened to do with Nami, and... The vision shows me what happened to Nami. Erlon forced himself on her. And I get completely enraged. Like, I'm like, no! Leave my Nami alone! And I say that mad loud and everybody's like, what the hell's going on? I'm fine. Kiyoya, what's going on, Kiyoya? And I'm like, I'm sorry, guys. I just had a bad vision. And... You know, having so much hockey, I could see the past and the future, and I saw something terrible. Nami, me and you are going to have a talk together away from everybody. I need to really ask you something. She's like, okay, I'm, I'm worried about you. So I pull Nami over to the side, and me and Nami have a talk, and she's like, what's going on? I'm like... I saw some terrible thing that happened to you, and the Erlon forced itself on you. And you know, she's like, you know, in shock. She's like, yeah, but I don't like to talk about that. And I'm like, Nami, I grab her chin, and I'm like, you don't got to worry about that ever happening again. I promise you, I will kill that bastard Erlon. She's like, I know you will. And, you know, me and her make out, but I'm enraged. And I'm like, yo, Nami, don't tell the crew where I'm going. I'm going to kill Arlong by myself. She's like, no, don't don't be crazy. I mean, I know you're super strong and all, but I don't want you to go there by yourself. I'm like, Nami, you don't got to worry about me. And I kiss her on her forehead. And I'm like, if you get into any danger, um, just hold this kunai and... Put a little bit of heat to it, and I was sense that it's dangerous. Dang, you in danger, and I teleport right back. She's like, "Okay, I love you. I love you too, Nami." So everybody, Nami leaves, and she walks back inside. She's like, "Um, where's Kiyoya? Kiyoya's um, he says he's gonna tell. He's teleporting to this nearby island, and he wants to check something out. He be back." And now, I'm on. Black Force Energy time, guys. I'm looking for Erlon. So I use my flying Raijin straight to um the, the um, coordinates that Nami told me. And I use my flying Raijin. And I get there. I touch down. And as soon as I touch down, I see this blue-haired girl. And I'm like, wait a minute. Ain't does Nami adopt a sister she told me about, Nezuko? And Nezuko see me. She's like, yo, who's this guy? He's kind of hot. And he's tall, very tall. He's like 10 foot. I'm like, you Nami's sister, aren't you? She's like, how do you know that? Well, Nami's my girlfriend. And she's like, oh, damn it. Nami got you before I did? Yeah, but besides that, that's what she says in her head. 
And I'm like, yo, you know what Erlong is? I'm here to kill him. Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. I want that bastard dead, too. Shouts out to Zoro Sensei. Um, that's his idea. He came up with that type of multiplier. I just used it, and I just named it differently, but I want to give credit where credit is due. Go subscribe to Zoro Sensei. He makes fantastic what-ifs. And, yeah, and I hope y'all enjoy my what-if. Mine's is a little bit dark. And it's all for entertainment, and I hope y'all enjoy it. And I want y'all guys to be safe out there in this troubled time. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. If you take a train, please be careful, guys. We live in New York. The subways are not it, guys. But I love all y'all guys, and be safe. And watch our surroundings. Kill I Kill, signing off. Peace, guys. Part 3 will be out soon. Deuces.